Hey guys, this is Mr. Crayfish, and welcome back to another modding tutorial. Before we start this episode today, um, some of you guys had a problem with this set unlocalized name. I looked in the comments, and a lot of you guys were saying that it was undefined. And the reason why it's undefined is because you most likely haven't created this item table class. So if you look back in the tutorial, I, hi I highlighted over this and said create new class, and it created this new thing up, this new class up here. Um, you want to make sure that this public class item table, or whatever it's called, extends item. Because if it doesn't extend item, this here is going to be undefined. So make sure that your class up here extends item, then that won't actually be read. Now we're going to get on with today's tutorial. In this tutorial today, we're going to be looking at adding basic blocks. So it's almost the same as adding an item to be honest, exactly the kind of like the same way. We've got to create a variable up here, we've got to initialize it, and then we've got to register it. So it should be pretty easy for you guys to do this. So let's get started. So under your item variables, simply just do exactly the same thing. We're going to type public, static, but instead of item, we're just going to type block. Pretty simple. Then just a lowercase block, and then we're going to write table because this is the block and then that's the item and then highlight over block and then you want to make sure you import the right one there is a lot here so you want to make sure you click on import block and it says net.minecraft.block there so click that now what you want to do is move this gain register down a couple of lines because we want them to be at the bottom and then under the um, item table initialization or initialization bit here uh, what you want to do is type in block table or whatever you've called it and you'll do equals new block table and two brackets on the end semicolon then you want to highlight over block table and click create class block table press finish now you'll notice that it has a red line under um, the, this class name here you want to click on add constructor and then just change this hit bit here where it says PI4, I459, whatever it is there, um, just to material. And then you want to change the word inside of that super um, bit there to material like that. Just to make it a lot easier for you guys to understand because um, that that's actually obfuscated code and practically obfuscated code makes it so it's a lot harder to read. Um, that's what Minecraft does, it obfuscates their code and it's almost impossible to read it unless you decompile it and remap all the variables and class names and all that stuff like that. So uh, just change that parameter there, parameter name there to material. Then come back to our mod class and what we've got to do now is we've actually got to add a argument into this um, block table here. So inside the brackets there, you want to type in material and then you want to choose the material that you want. So you've got a lot of choices here. So air, anvil, cactus, cake, carpet. Practically what this does is it will set the stepping sound and it will step. It will set the break time of the... Oh no, it won't set the break time. It will set the um, set stepping sound and the sound that it makes when you actually break it. So um, if we do cloth... Um, you'll notice that it, it when, when I break it in game it will sound like I'm breaking a bit of wool, a block of wool. Now again we've got to do this set unlocalized name for the block, so set, um, oh wait it's not set, oh it's set block name now, my bad, set block name and then type in block table or whatever you're going to call it and then under the gain registry register item we want to do that again so game registry but register block this time and then copy your block variable into the first argument and then for the second one you want to put in the argument then you want to do get um, unlocalized name then substring 5 I think it's substring 5. Just make sure that's correct by copying that bit there and then we're just going to create a system.out.print ln open bracket and then paste that bit in there and then that will print out um, that string 
Now we can actually run our game now, so simply go ahead, press run at the top here, and then we'll do exactly the same thing that we did before. Now I'm just going to quit off fraps just because it's going to get in the way. Quit fraps, there we go. So what you want to do is do forward slash give space, let's press tab once, space, tutorial mod or whatever your mod ID is, two dots, then press tab, then press it again, and then you should go over to block table, press enter, and you'll see that we've got a block now, so it's just a pink and black checkered texture, that's just by default. So what we're going to do now is we're going to add a name to the block, and then we're going to add a texture, so let's do that now. So close off Minecraft, and then you want to go into your en.us lang file again, and then just create two spaces down, and then you want to type in block, actually let's check the name down the bottom here that got printed out, it would have been up a little bit further, oh yeah, it looks like it did it right, so you see it printed out block table, so you want to do block dot, and then grab the um, block name here, so you copy that, paste that in, then do dot name equals, and we'll just call it table. Now we'll load up the game and it should give our name that we defined here to that block now. Alright, my bad, we did it wrong, it's supposed to be tile.blockname.name, dot name. so let's fix that up real quickly. So instead of block at the front here, write tile, and then press save, and then uh, we'll close off Minecraft real quickly. Run your game again. And you can now notice that the name of our block here is called table. Now we're going to add a texture to it. So again, it's very simple and it's exactly like the item. So we'll go into paint.net, create a texture. So uh, again, you'll need to do a new 16 by 16 pixel document. Zoom in. Make it transparent first. And then design your textures on top. Now this is not going to be anything fancy. I'm going to create a nice red block and then what we might do is let's see what effects I've got up here. Can we do anything that might be uh, somewhat of useful? Fignet. Oh, that's kind of cool. <laughs> Alright, let's do something like this. Uh, um, is that in the center? It doesn't look like it's in the center. Maybe we'll move it off to... Oh yeah, that's better. It needs to be a slight Wait, okay. Put that in there, and then we should get a cool kind of like, I don't know, that'd be a cool little texture. So go ahead, file, save as. You don't have to do that, you can do whatever you want. And um, if you're still doing this from the last tutorial, you should still be in this items folder that we created for the textures. What you want to do is go back and where you get to see the items folder, create a new folder in here and call this one blocks and inside of there save your texture so we're just going to call this one block table dot png make sure it's a png file click save save close off paint.net well I don't need it anymore and then we're just going to check that it's in the resources over here so it should be in oh yeah before we do this uh, what I want you guys to do is go up to here click view menu, go to package presentation and click on this one here um, it will just make it a whole lot easier um, to look at because the other version is just horrible um, it's a bit hard to show an example because I don't really have many packages but it's just a lot more it, it, yeah, it just it's just horrible, just put it as that so if we have a look in textures and we got blocks here we see we got block table now we'll go to back to tutorial or the main class here and then after the set block name here do dot set texture I mean, what is it set set block texture name it's a little bit different for the block but it's essentially the same so you type in your mod ID then two dots and then type in block table and then there we go that should be it now I'll just leave that up there for a little second for you guys to see um, all the code, just to make sure that you've got it all correct. And now we're going to run the game. And you'll notice now that we've got our texture on our block. So 
That is quite awesome. That's pretty cool. <laughs> Just a simple texture I thought I would create. Um, so yeah, that's pretty cool. So we got our block and we've got our table item. So this is just um, basic item and a basic block. We're actually going to get further into items and more advanced blocks in the future. Uh, the next tutorial is going to be about food, so make sure you stick around for that. And this is actually going to end off this episode today as well, but uh, we'll do a quick brief overview again. So to start a block, you need to create a variable up here using the block before instead of the item here, the block, and then your block name variable end off with a semicolon. Um, then you need to initialize it as stated here. So equals new block table, create that new class which you've got up here, and then you want to make sure you import or create that constructor there. Go back into the mod class here, set the block name, set the block texture. Um, and p make sure you put in the material inside these brackets here. You want to register the block by putting the variable in there. Then for the second one, put block table, duck and unlocalize name, and substring it by five. And we can also just get rid of that. We don't need that anymore. So hopefully you learned how to do a block today. If you have any troubles, make sure you pause the video, rewatch it and stuff. Um, people have been complaining to me or saying in the comments that, oh, you're going too fast. But it's just, I don't need to wait. I don't want to make the tutorial 20 minutes long when it could be 12 minutes and you could pause it. It's that easy. Just click the pause button, guys. Um, so this is going to end off the tutorial today. Hopefully you enjoyed and I'll see you for the next tutorial where we're going to be working on adding food into the game. So I'll see you guys for the next one. Bye. Make sure you leave a like too. Bye.